Hi everyone, Victor is here. Here's another session of uh, sketching in my sketchbook. For this time uh, I'm using uh, this large uh, for format sketchbook made by uh, Hani Mulem. It might be quite uh, uncomfortable to be carried around in a backpack, but it's very convenient for pencil drawing uh, because the paper has some tooth to retain uh, the pencil marks. It's got uh, quite thick paper, 140 GSM, which makes it uh, suitable for some uh, markers and uh, wet media. It even stands uh, watercolor. For today's sketch I'm using graphite and colored pencils. This is my pen case that contains a few colors, a few pens, graphite pencil, sharpener, something uh, very basic, not too fancy. I bought it to stow my tools on the go. I want to be able to whip out uh, my sketching materials and draw right away anywhere. For the preliminary sketch I'm using a 3B graphite pencil. Like um, I like to start um, with a sharpened pencil. So this might be a good uh, starting point to sharpen your pencils before starting uh, your drawing, just to warm up your fingers. Uh, even when you don't feel like drawing because you are tired or distracted with other th things, the simple act of uh, sharpening a pencil can anchor you in the activity of um, drawing and um, creating a state of mind uh, predisposed to drawing. I find the edges of the paper where I'm drawing very useful for defining um, the proportions of a subject. I just compare the benchmarks from the reference photo to my sketch. To make uh, things easier, the ratio between uh, the size of the reference photo and this A4 format page is uh, almost 1. While my sketchbook is uh, on my working desk, I check out the reference photo on my desktop uh, monitor. I divided the page in half and uh, this is a simplification of the measuring and the comparing to the reference photo. It is like a template around which the rest of the drawing will develop. The bigger shapes and details will pile up on this median line, which can also be considered an axis of symmetry or balance. Drawing with a graphite pencil in the initial stage is a dry run for what follows later, when um, more definition is added either uh, in contrast or um, saturation. So drawing uh, faint lines and uh, guessing by uh, making marks on paper is like a rehearsal and warming up for the hand. It is like looking on a map and uh, trying to find uh, the way out uh, from a maze or a puzzle. The humble pencil uh, might not produce the most beautiful works, but um, is a working horse to learn uh, the ropes and to have uh, many sketches um, under one's belt. Drawing exercises um, got me thinking. It seems to me that uh, there are certain uh, fundamentals, uh, not only in drawing, but in life, uh, that we should uh, have under uh, our control before we turn our attention uh, to loftier ambitions. The reference photo that I'm sketching after um, I took in Oradea when I was on vacation uh, last summer. The downtown of the city is full of uh, Art Nouveau buildings. This entrance I'm uh, sketching uh, is 
on a quiet street near the center of the city. In the mornings uh, I got up at 6 before others uh, woke up to go in the center to sketch. It was a walking distance uh, between our accommodation and the center. I put on my clothes and prepared beforehand in the evening before going uh, to bed and drank my first morning uh, double espresso. I usually don't eat sooner than uh, two hours after my first coffee in the morning. I'm not hungry first thing in the morning and the uh, coffee keeps me going uh, even uh, if it's simple without milk and uh, without sugar. I like uh, dark bitter coffee. Just the smell alone of grounded uh, coffee beans wakes me up. When I'm at home I just have to press twice uh, on the coffee machine, one for heating up the machine and the second button is for double espresso. Usually I'm trying to get it ready in the evening for the next morning. I'm checking the water tank, the coffee bean container and the waste disposal container. When I was staying in Oradia there was a coffee capsule machine which made uh, the process much simpler and the coffee was ready right away. At first when I was in high school I was drinking coffee very rarely, only when I had to stay awake uh, to study late at night then I would uh, drink uh, a lot much uh, coffee. My coffee habits uh, then changed gradually. In college I started uh, drinking several times a week when I had classes very early in the morning and during uh, exam sessions to stay up late uh, to, to study. But uh, my experience with uh, uh, caffeine starts much earlier. Uh, when I was little I was uh, drinking uh, black tea and uh, black tea I found out uh, much later when I was in uh, high school that uh, also contains caffeine in uh, much less uh, proportion than uh, coffee ground, coffee beans, but um, also contains uh, a little uh, quantity of uh, caffeine and uh, tein, which both of them are um, predisposed to give uh, some uh, energy and um, actually caffeine um, not necessarily gives energy that uh, prevents um, a tired uh, person to not sleep. This um, entrance in uh, Orada is uh, on a nice street. It's a pedestrian one. There are um, many nice restaurants there. So uh, I found uh, this interesting as um, symmetry and uh, architectural uh, elements. Oh, after I um, penciled uh, with the light uh, strokes, now I'm uh, defining uh, the lines with uh, more darker tones and uh, more definition. Also revealing uh, some uh, details that uh, on the first stage uh, is not um, recommended to put them on paper directly. It's better to have some large shapes than uh, later on to add uh, details and uh, other little elements of the building. The entrance uh, has this uh, tunnel shape. I try to do it in perspective. On the other side is a smaller uh, arch. I think arch is called this or arc. Arc is uh, for other um, 
architectural uh, uh, constructions, maybe for um, some bridges, and um, yeah, adding uh, windows, which uh, is an easy part of drawing some rectangles, then adding, uh, dividing uh, these rectangles in a um, proportional way. After uh, playing around uh, with uh, fancier art materials, such as pens and markers and uh, uh, different colored media, I decided to return to the basics of uh, drawing with a pencil. Uh, even though um, you need more patience and uh, the result is not uh, so immediately seen as in the case of drawing with uh, a pen when uh, a black uh, or dark line is immediately seen on paper. The graphite pencil um, helps to uh, draw gradually to make uh, faint lines, to draw some guidelines and then later on uh, to add uh, darker tones and uh, uh, more defined uh, lines. But uh, there are uh, advantages of the pencil. You can uh, uh, erase even though uh, I'm not uh, such a fan of uh, erasing, maybe I'm uh, lazy to erase, then uh, again to draw. I I'd really would like to um, draw directly and not uh, return so often, only if uh, it's uh, quite a big mistake, uh, I would uh, erase, but uh, generally I like to draw directly, even though the pencil uh, allows uh, such uh, it's uh, more uh, forgiving uh, than a pen. <laughs>